guys, welcome back. Today in studies, the sister showed us how to do origami like clothes and and we showed our dad how to do a shirt. Me and my sister, we're thinking what movie we should watch. It's Friday, you could do a movie night. Me and my sister got plants, like play our games or like um, play outside for a little bit at the backyard. But friends, whatever your plans are for the weekend, just remember to be safe. Today's day is day 79, Gideon meets God, Judges 6, 1 to 32. The people of Israel turned to evil again. So the Lord made them suffer for leaving him. For seven years, the Midianites raided the land. They took the harvest away so Israel had no food. The people ran from their towns and farms to hide in caves. They cried out to God. One day, a man named Gideon was threshing wheat in, in a hidden place. Looking up, he saw an angel sitting by an oak tree. You're a mighty warrior, Gideon, the angel said. The Lord is with you. Go and save Israel from Midian. But sir, my family is the weakest in my tribe. I am the youngest of my family. How can I save Israel? I will be with you. I will help you drive out the Midianites. Then Gideon knew that he was talking with God. He brought food for an offering and set it on a rock. The Lord touched it with his staff. Fire leaped up from the rock and consumed the offering. God vanished. That night with ten men, Gideon destroyed the image of Baal. He then built an altar and burned an offering to the Lord. Now we're on our questions. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's go on the questions. Why did Israel suffer? Do you know, Sinai? Because the Lord made them suffer for leaving him. That correct, Sinai. Who did Gideon see sitting by an oak tree? Do you remember, Sinai? An angel. That correct, Sinai. Okay, guys, now my sister is going to read. Hi guys again. Um, I hope you're enjoying your Friday. Today's story is the sign of Gibeon's fleece. We're on day 80, Judges 6, 33 and 7, 1. Let's start our story. The Lord's Spirit came upon Gibeon. He sounded a trumpet and sent men to the tribes of Israel. Come help us drive out the Midianites, they called. And Israel sent warriors to Gibeon. The Midianites came against Gibeon with a mighty army. 
From the slopes of Mount Gilba, Gibeon looked down on Midian's camp. O oh Lord God, Gibeon prayed, will you use me to save Israel? I'm going to lay a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. Give me this sign. Tomorrow dew will be on the fleece but not on the ground. Then I'll know that we'll defeat the Midianites. The next morning the fleece was dripping with dew. The ground around it was dry. Oh Lord, don't be angry with me, Gideon said, but give me one more sign. Tomorrow morning, make the fleece dry and the ground wet with dew. Then I'll have no doubt. The next morning, the ground was wet and the fleece was dry. So Gideon and his troops rose early and camped by the spring at Harod. The Midianites camped north in the valley of Je Jezreel. It's question time! How did Gideon know that God was with him? Do you remember, Salma? Because God was giving Gideon signs. Correct answer! Was God angry or patient with Gideon? Yes, God was patient because he gave him more than one sign. Correct answer, Salma! Thank you for reading with us. We really appreciate you watching our stories. I like reading with you guys. And if you like the stories, you can give us a thumbs up. Subscribe and share. If you have plans this weekend, just remember to be safe. We'll see you in the next one.